Hello friends, welcome to News You Can Eat 24. I'm Chef Walter. The topic of today is what is Nutella? You know, the lovely Italian spread that we are getting obsessed by. Well, let's uh, look into this. Uh, let's analyze the product first and foremost. Nutella is a Sweden hazelnut cocoa spread made by Ferrero, an Italian company. That's the largest uh, chocolate producer in the world, or one of the first three anyways. It was originally invented by Pietro Ferrero, an Italian baker in Piedmont. And the idea was uh, he had a ground hazelnut to a uh, chocolate spread uh, because there was a shortage of cocoa in Italy right after the World War II. Today, of course, people around the world consume Nutella mostly as a topping for breakfast toast, pancake, waffles, muffins, and of course you've seen in your local restaurants under the dessert compilation. Lately, the company has been pushing the brand to be reclassified, and so they have uh, cut the, the serving size from two tablespoons to one. And for those who don't read the labels uh, information, they may think that Nutella is low in sugar, fat, and of course calories. But let's look into the actual ingredients. So I bought myself a Nutella jar and I was reading it. So first and foremost on the list is sugar, either from beet or refined cane sugar. Second on the list, palm oil. Palm oil is the fruit of the oil palm tree. Palm oil gives Nutella the creamy texture that you see and the spreadability. Then you have a hazelnut. And hazelnut is 100% pure hazelnut paste, which is added. Uh, to uh, the spread and uh, the Nutella company, the Ferrero company says that there are 50 hazelnuts to each jar. Fourth component, it's cocoa. The majority of the cocoa bean used in Nutella does come from Western Africa and that is of good quality. They are processed into a fine powder and mixed with the, uh, the rest of the ingredients. Then you have a skimmed milk. And that's fine because the skin milk is nothing but a powder milk that has been uh, uh, really uh, reduced into a powder and it uh, has a shelf stable and of course it does not need to be refrigerated. Then you have a couple of ingredients which are questionable. One is soy lecithin, which is an emulsifier, meaning that it helps the ingredients from separating from uh, the oil from the actual content. And it's a common food additive, which you, you'll find in many dressings, you'll find in many of your peanut butter jars. And lastly on the list is vanilla, which is a flavor component found in vanilla bean extract. Now, Nutella contains a synthetic form of vanilla. And so while the company, the Ferrero company, is advertising uh, as a hazelnut spread uh, of a good quality, sugar is first listed on the ingredient list. And this is because the sugar, it's its primary ingredient and maintains a 57% of its weight. So that means a 57% of the weight of a Nutella jar is composed of sugar first. So if we look at some of the numbers, two tablespoons of Nutella, for those of us, those of you who love it, contain 200 calories, 12 grams of fat, and 21 grams of sugar. And then we have, of course, protein, calcium, and iron in a smaller percentage. Is Nutella healthy? Well, the company does boast simple and quality ingredients such as hazelnut and skim milk, but never really mentions the remaining of the ingredients, which is mostly sugar and fat. And let's not forget that the American Heart Association recommends that women and children consume no more than six teaspoons of added sugar per day, while men can do a little bit better at nine teaspoons of added sugar per day. When you look at this number, we realize that Nutella should be properly kept to a minimum. The spread does have some quality ingredients which are natural. It does not contain high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oil, or artificial food coloring, all of which are ingredients of concern for the health conscious consumer. Should we eat Nutella? Like any other high sugar foods that you see on the market, Nutella should be viewed as a treat. The problem is that people often use it more as a breakfast spread than as a dessert. 
Keep in mind that the average American adult consumes 19.5 teaspoons of added sugar per day. 19.5 as adults. And so when you look at those numbers, you have to be really concerned and careful. So I'm not here to discourage you. Enjoy some Nutella in moderation as a dessert, but not as a breakfast spread. And that does it for us here. News You Can Eat 24 under the Nutella as the topic. A little bit, not all the time. Follow us on a YouTube channel on the Chef of Walter's Cooking School and subscribe to that channel. And also take a look at our blog, www.chefwalterfinefoods.com blog. You have all the latest recipes there for you to tackle. Okay, that does it for today. Ciao.